Okay, so this is a typical question um, on prime factorization. Most of the exam questions would be this way, all right? So first, you need to, <coughs> at the start of the question, they will always ask you to factorize a number. So when you factorize a number, please make sure that you show how you get their prime factors, okay? So by using this, most of you should know that Okay, this is the ladder method that most of you learn how to use in school. Okay, 18 and then 2 and then 9 and then okay, 3, 3 and make sure that the last one is 1. Okay, so this would be 2 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 2. Okay, so this is the first one, number 4, A, finding the prime factor. Now for B, B. B is also a typical question where they tell us you that 288M is a multiple of 300. Okay, so let me go down here first and then. Okay, let me go down here first and this again. Okay, so 288B is a multiple of 300. Now, what does this mean? This means that 288B uh, is, is going to be a big agarium okay because it's a multiple now multiple is a number that is bigger than him okay and then 300 is now a small agarium so this is 300 okay 300 and then this is 288b now 288b must be able to eat up eat up 300 so basically 300 must be able to go into 288 okay so this is what it means when 288m now first how we set out the question is we will find out for we will find out we will write down okay 288 just now according to the first part is 2 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 2 okay next we need to find out 300 is equals to how much okay so using again my ladder method 300 divided by 2 I will get 150 now not all the time you have to start with using 2 you can use the 5 okay and in fact i should i encourage you to use five because when you use five you divide by a bigger number the numbers will get smaller and then it's easier for you to do okay one so 300 is two to the power of two times three times five to the power of two okay two to the power of two times three times five to the power of two so next question is asking now so this is the very very important part that you have to know and then this is how you write 288m must be equals to so first you look at this 2 to the power 5 and 2 to the power 2 288 has 2 to the power 5 already can he eat up 300 yes he can so now we keep the 2 to the power 5 okay next we look at 3 to the power 2 and 3 okay again 288 is bigger than he already have 3 to the power 2 so we will just keep this now the question is 300 have this 5 to the power of 2 does 288 have no so 288m they must have 5 to the power of 2 so that 288m can eat up 300 okay so this is how 288m looks like now question do not want to know what is 288m question wants to know what is the what is the m that makes it 288 to be like that so the answer is m is equals to okay so what makes 288 from here to become here 2 to the power of 5 to the power of, 2 to the power of 5 to the power of 5 we are the same 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 3 to, 3 to the power of 2 and 3 to the power of 2 is the same 288 at first don't have 5 to the power of 2 now he have this 5 to the power of 2 so which means m is 5 to the power of 2 which is equals to 25 okay very typical question the multiplication of m all right so the next part okay where they ask you that 288 is up is a perfect square um, this is also a very typical question so a perfect square I will tell you that a perfect square means his power okay can be okay is multiple okay of 2 alright so perfect square means 
all there are multiple all the power is multiple of two so for example you see that um, four four is equal to what two square right okay so like 16 16 is equal to what four square right? okay like 36 is equals to six square right so you see all perfect squares right their power are multiples of two so again we go back to writing down what is 288 first 288 is equals to 2 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 2 so the next part where 288 n must be equals to first he have 2 to the power he originally is 2 to the power of 5 288 n must have must have power which is multiple of 2 so he must have 2 to the power of 6 okay next 3 square is already already the power is already multiple of 2 so do you need to do anything you don't need so you keep it as 3 square so what is n equals to n is equals to 2 because it makes him from 2 to the power of 5 to become 2 to the power of 6 that's why n is equals to 2 okay so this is a, uh, another way of asking you question is so they may ask what is uh, the same kind of question 2 a n to be a perfect cube uh, i write down uh, perfect cube okay so if a perfect square the power is multiple of two the perfect cube the power is multiple of three okay perfect cube power multiple of three perfect square power multiple of two okay so and then the next one that they the next part of the question is given that 288 over d so what is the difference between what is the difference between this what is the difference between this question and this question is when you multiply by something okay the multi multiply okay the power will go up okay when you divide the power will come down okay so that's the difference all right so then they ask you is equals to p square what does p square means it means it is a perfect square okay so there are many ways that the question can ask you but actually they are all asking for the same thing all right so again we come out with 288 is equals to 2 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 2 now 288 over d over d must be equals to so p square is a perfect square perfect square means power must be multiple of 2 so in this case 288 over d must give you 2 to the power of originally he is 2 to the power of 5 so remember when we divide the power will go down instead of okay so in this case it, it need to become 2 to the power of 4 all right times 3 square is already the power is already multiple of 2 so there's nothing we need to do to him we we keep him so therefore d what is d what is the d that makes 2 a from him to him it is just equals to 2 okay so overall this is a pretty standard question where they will ask you to find the product of the prime factor first and then after that ask you for multiple okay so some of the recap points are uh, is number one to be a multiple okay it's like an agario okay you must be bigger than the or rather i should put it in another way okay you must you must contain the smaller number okay number two a perfect square okay means the power okay is a multiple of two perfect cube means the power multiple of three okay and number three when you you have two eight and it means the power you need to make the power go up when you have two it it over d it means the power goes down okay very important 
three points you need to know about this kind of questions.